Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, DeBlind here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the TK Aftermarket mod and the Engine Stand mod. I've had a lot of requests to do a tutorial on how to do that. Um, apparently not. There's not a lot of videos out there on how to do so. And if there is, maybe they're not working for some people. Uh, no discredit to anybody that has already done one. I'm just saying I keep getting a lot of requests for it. So I'm going to go ahead and do one. Hopefully this helps you guys that are having issues. Maybe you can finally use one of these mods that I'm going to show you how to install. And uh, hopefully now everyone can get a, a hold of it. So the first thing I'm going to want you guys to do is to go on to nexusmods.com and look for Car Mechanic Sim 2021. If you need the URL, it's literally just nexusmods.com forward slash Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. And you can just hit enter and it'll take you to this page if you can't find the game on the website. So now you'll get to this page and it'll show you a lot of the mods that you won't find on Steam. Some are, but most of these are not on Steam for whatever reason. I'm not going to get into that uh, whole debate. But uh, anyway, so you'll first go to QOL though. Let's see here. And you'll want to go to this website right here. Melon Loader Automated Installer. Okay, so once you're on the Melon Loader website, technically a Melon Wiki, you're gonna to wanna to do it the automated installation, not manual installation. So you're gonna download the installer right here. And then once it's downloaded, you can install it to whatever place you want it to, it doesn't matter. Uh, you'll go ahead and run it once it's done. Once you run it, you'll have a little menu pop up and you'll see automated manual zip and settings. You're gonna to wanna to go to automated, set the unity game to select and then where it says please select your unity game this is where you're going to want melon loader to install to and you in this case it's car mechanic sim so go find where your uh, cms 21 is installed to um, as far as the actual folder so like steam library steam apps common all that uh, go ahead and uh, find it and then select that folder um, if you don't know how to do that go to steam itself right click your cms21 and then i think it's local files browse local files and it'll show you where it's at once you got that uh directed make sure the version you have is 5.7 don't click the green box that says latest that's going to put you on 6.1 it will not work make sure you have 5.7 and then once you have that then put the game arch to x86 and uh, you're good to go you're good to go ahead and install melon loader so now from this point on, it doesn't matter which mod you're installing. If you want to do the QOL, it's the exact same. If you want to do engine stand mod, it's the exact same. So I'm going to go to over to TK aftermarket. I'm going to go ahead and go to files, or you can just do manual download from right here. You'll go to whichever one you want, which I believe this is the one I want. So now you're going to have a slow download and a fast download. You can do the slow download premium. I think you do need a membership, uh, which you really don't. Just do slow. It's, it's not that slow. Go ahead and download it. Just give it a little bit. Alrighty. Now you can decide wherever the heck you want this. I usually put all my mods that I've ever downloaded in a separate folder so I can get to it easily. I will put it right here. Now you're just gonna wait for the mod to install on your computer. It can take a little bit for whatever reason. This one's taking a lot of time. <laughs> but once you got it, go ahead and open it up. There you go, leave this open. Now on my computer, I have 7-Zip so, or WinRAR, so it comes up like this. If you don't have WinRAR, it might actually just show up in your file explorer. So what you'll do is open up your file explorer and I need you to go to your uh, Car Mechanic Sim 2021 directory. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find where your game was installed to, whichever drive it was installed to. Mine is on my uh, F drive. So I'll go to Steam, Steam Apps, Comment, and then there it is. Now, because you've already installed Melon Loader, your file explorer should look similar to this, meaning that you have a Melon Loader folder and a mods folder. These are not two folders you create. These are folders that Melon Loader creates. Make sure you do have this mods folder. So what you do is go into your mods folder, open it up. If you don't have any mods, it'll be blank. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you highlight these and then just drag 
and drop. And if it has to replace, say yes. Wait for it to finish. And bam, you're done. And this will apply to the QOL mod and the uh, engine stand mod. So QOL is right here and here. Engine stand is right here and here. That's all it is. It's as simple as that. Now you do have a lot of stuff you can mess with with QOL and the TK aftermarket in terms of their configs. Um, that's up to you. You don't have to. I don't. The only thing I mess with with QOL is the amount of cars I have out in the uh, the, the parking spots. That's all. So once you got all that, you're good to close all this out. And let's go to Steam. And let's go ahead and open up our car mechanic sim. Go ahead and just play it as normal. And you'll see this menu. If you haven't already downloaded, if this is your first time downloading Melon Loader, you'll see this menu. So right now it's just installing all the mods you have and loading them up. Don't be afraid. This is not your game breaking. You want to see this. So right now it's just making sure everything is working correctly, installing them, applying them. Now, real quick, as we wait for my game to load up, it, it takes a little bit because I have a lot of cars in, in, in the game already, but Make sure you don't actually put in the the, uh, the zip file into the mods folder. You don't want to do that. You want to extract the files that are in the zip to the mods folder. Meaning you don't want to just copy and paste or save the actual download into the mods folder. It's still not going to work. It, it won't load it up and you won't be able to get access to the mod that you install. You do have to get the files out of the folder and drag them into the mods folder itself. So just make sure you're doing that. I actually had a few people that were just installing the actual zip file and that's why it wasn't working. So now we have everything what we have installed. We have QOL, engine stand, and the TK aftermarket mod. Whichever one you chose, whichever ones you chose, make sure they're working. So for me, I updated TK aftermarket, which he said there was new polyurethane bushings, at least colors. Yes, there they are. That's pretty sick. I'm really glad that we have that now because they were just red. And if you guys saw my last video, I didn't like how they were clashing with the orange subframe. So that's pretty cool. Looks like we got some new idler pulleys too. Oh, those look sick. I like that. That's awesome. But yeah, whoops. So yeah, so if you're still having issues with some of the mods you guys installed, let me know. Um, it should just be as simple as this though. You should not be having any other issues. Um, like I said, the biggest things that may be causing anyone having no access to this when they install it is again, you're putting in Melon Loader 6.1 instead of 5.7 and you're not extracting the files when you install it. You do have to extract the files. Other than that, I can't tell you what's going on. Um, like I said, make sure Melon Loader created the mods folder and that's about it. Uh, there's really nothing else I can do in terms of show you. There's no other tricks. There's no other, oh, step this, step that. No, it really is as simple as that. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys now are able to access QOL or whichever one you guys wanted to install. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Uh, I really hope it was. Leave a comment if it was. And again, I'll hopefully catch you guys in another episode on Car Mechanic Sim. Um, make sure you check out my last video. And uh, don't mind that engine that I got over here. I was just having fun with building the Hellcat engine. This is not going in anything. Um, just kind of built it in my free time. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, everybody.